503rd Heavy Panzer Battalion was an independent unit equipped with Tiger I heavy tanks. The unit was created in May 1942. It consisted of 45 Tiger I tanks and arrived at the Russian front in January 1943. Tiger 231 of Lieutenant Zabel from 503rd Heavy Panzer Battalion was hit 252 times by fire from all calibers during combat on the outskirts of rostov on don on the 11th of February 1943. The tank was able to be driven a further 60 kilometers to the rear area and returned to the unit. Here is the original report from Lieutenant Zabel following the battle. My battle group had to face a very strong enemy when attacking a collective farm west of Rostov-on-Don. The Tiger attacking as advanced platoon left the lighter tanks behind and attracted all the enemy fire. The tanks received hits on the front and to the right hand side. The enemy with anti-tank guns and anti-tank rifles opened fire at a great distance. My Tiger received a 76.2 mm hit in the front of the diver's position. The spare track links fixed there with an iron rod were ripped off. In the tank we noticed a bang and a slight shaking. The nearer we came, the stronger the bangs and shaking from the 76.2 mm hits became. At the same time we noticed considerably high dust clouds from artillery ground impacts near the tank. Further on, the crew noticed a somewhat lighter bank followed by a burst of yellow smoke, most likely a hit from an anti-tank rifle. A short time later, we received a hit from a 45 mm anti-tank gun on the cupola. The brackets of the bulletproof glass were smashed. The glass vision block jammed. There was dense smoke in the fighting compartment and the area became very hot. The loader's hatch was jammed and stood lightly open and it received a number of hits from anti-tank rifles. After the battle, two 45mm anti-tank guns and 15 anti-tank rifle hits were counted on the cupola. On both days of the attack the enemy destroyed our machine guns. The smoke dischargers on the turret were also destroyed. The smoke in the turret caused so much trouble that the Tiger was not ready for action for some time. All crew members' nerves were frightened, we lost our sense of time. We felt neither hunger nor any other needs. Despite the fact that the attack lasted for more than 6 hours, all men in the tank felt the time had gone by in a flash. After a further 76.2 mm hit on the mantlet on the gun, mounting bolts sheared off. The recoil brake lost its fluid and the gun barrel remained in rear position. Due to electric problems, the breech block could not be shut. Due to shocks inflicted by further hits, the radio system failed and the steering levers were jammed. When the exhaust cover was destroyed, the engine caught fire. This fire could be extinguished by the firefighting system. Further hits loosened some turret ring screws. The turret traversing system failed temporarily. We counted 227 hits by anti-tank rifles, 14 hits by 57mm anti-tank guns, and 11 hits by 76.2 mm anti-tank guns. The right suspension was heavily damaged by shelling. The connection pieces for several running wheels were ruined. Two torsion bars were broken. A rear idler wheel bearing was damaged. In spite of this damage, the Tiger was able to be driven for further 60 km. A fuel tank began leaking due to the heavy shocks. We noticed a number of impacts in the track links, which however did not particularly impair mobility. Subsequently it can be said that the armor on the Tiger had come up to our expectations. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.